so hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel this is burn house kitchen and guys before we start before we begin huh i want to thank each and every person that is watching our video that is liking that is commenting guys giving us so much energy to want to do more for you guys so ha huh, today we have uh, today we are going to make tripe kwa english ni to tripe but kwa kiswahili ni matumbo so some of you had requested that I make for I show them the steps on how to make tripe ama matumbo chance matumbo kwa wale waswahili wa Kenya inaitwa matumbo so we have our matumbo here we have our onions ah no tomatoes and our onions and salt guys mimi sipendi vikweka vitu mingi kwa matumbo napenda iwe natural and also kuna watu wengine leo tunataka pia tuwapikie ugali. Kuna watu wali request, kuna watu wenye wajuku miku ugali. So nataka niwaoneshe today. So we already had our oil kwa pan and we want to start frying. Okay? So So guys, najua si watu wengi wanajua kupika matumbo ama kutengeneza. I bought it first of all and then nikaiosha ndakuja kuonesha process sorry that i didn't show you but ndakuja kuonesha process um yeah i washed it and then i boiled it nili boil kitambo and then nikai stock of fridge so in your so this is it after boiling it so kwa hivyo uh tutaanza so hivi ndio mimi napenda kupika nyama sianzi na vitunguu kwanza naweka nyama yenyewe so naweka matumbo yetu iive kwanza na mafuta and then i start putting my onions and tomatoes So I think from here we're going to cover it for a few minutes until we absorb mafuta. Okay guys. So that's what we are, we are going to do and then after that after it's ready we start uh, by putting our onions and then yeah we do the rest. So guys, we stock it up. Guys, you see after we put our matumbo in the oil, this is the result. You know, I know some people might uh, might love it like this. They will calculate the dry fry, but no, this is too little. That's why we want to go in with the onion. And guys, Mrs. Sao, you comment below. What do you want to You know, for some people, not sure how I'm paying. But some do love it. I also do a lot. Once I your white fry, you know how my tongue sound. And also, you okay, you can decide to just fry it with the onions only. But I prefer it with tomatoes, and that's why you have tomatoes here. So now I say this is very easy. This is very easy. Now the difficult part is uh your process ya kuosha. I know si kila mtu anajua but mimi nilifunzwa na my mom. So process ya kuosha I'll, I'll teach you guys. I'll teach you guys soon. No nation. 
uh, whatever mtu anafanya because it's you just don't take it I'm a buy it from the butcher and then you just wash it like that a lot of cut cut there's a process you need to wash it because you can um, some intestines so you need to clean the inside of the intestines so you can understand when you have a maswali make sure you comment down below or you can also dm us on instagram at ban underscore house kitchen this is how and also follow 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 our page on instagram and i think we have we also have a facebook page ban house kitchen mane zangalia plus upper youtube this is how to subscribe this is how subscribe and comment And also like our videos and share, share, share widely, okay? So yeah, let's allow it to, allow the onions to cook a little bit. I love them to make our tomatoes. So guys, at this particular point is where we add our tomatoes. And you want to be a spices, good for you. This is spices for matumbo. So, watch out to work here. I want to be a onion, then you see brown. Golden brown or just brown. I don't do that also. Okay, times I do, but not today. So, yeah. So, to work here, our tomatoes. And then as it cooks, guys, we are going to start with our ugali. like putting uh, salt after I push the tomatoes I don't know about you but maybe I believe when I put salt when I put salt in the tomatoes I don't know but that is my belief guys so, um, after this we are going to cover it and then to pick a ugali So guys, uh, I see our matungo is almost ready. It's almost ready. And also, our water has boiled for cooking ugali. So guys, here's the thing. The ones that were asking huh, how to cook ugali. First of all, ugali in a na unga wa mahindi. Okay? Maize meal, I'm a corn meal, whichever way you call it. Mahali popote ulipo. So, this is what I do. So, guys, ensure that your water has boiled. Usiweke uh, unga. In water that is that is still the uh, nyebado na chemuka and it has not boiled, so you make sure it may boil. And if you wish, uh, the way I do is me na weka unga tu na pimana macho. I don't have a specific amount that I put, but I just use my eyes. Okay. So I put the the flour and then this is what I do. Now can you see this? So I mix I mix it until the mixture is firm. Okay guys, 
this is what I do. And at this point, because it's boiling, it's boiling up, you reduce your heat. Okay, because in a kuchoma, it can burn you. So this is what you do. And then sure ukona muiko sahihi. You see this? The right cooking stick. This is what I use. The, the one that is flattened, more flattened, you see? So that's what I use. So you mix it up. Uh, slowly by slowly and guys this is very easy I know most of the people our Julia Funzwa but this is very easy the easiest uh, meal to make I'm going to prepare it's very very easy so you see in answer kwa farm so at this point guys at this point, if you see that the your mixture is still a bit wet, you add some more flour, okay? Just a little, not too much. Because we don't want our ugali to be uh, to be so tough. Of which I prepare that I I I I prefer not prepare, I prefer so this at this point you can also add your heat so that it can cook because uh it stopped boiling the way it was it was doing before so you see uh -huh. and guys msisa how don't forget if you if you see that uh, it's, it's not yet firm, you continue adding some flour, little by little, until your mixture is, is firm. Firm kabisa. And it should not be sticky also. If it's sticky, it means that the, the ugali is not yet cooked. So we go in again with our flour. just that much so we continue with our mixing and mixing let me add my heat and you see guys it's no longer as, as sticky as it was so this is a good sign that we're almost there. I hope you can see guys, we are almost there. And this, this work guys requires a lot of energy. You need to use a lot of your energy to make this. As you can see, the stickiness is reducing. Okay, guys. There you go. It is reducing as you continue mixing it step by step. And here on the side, I feel like our matumbo is ready. So what I do after this, I give it some little time to cook, okay? And you can make any shape you want. Any, any shape. You don't you you can't uh, plate it yet because I always feel that it will 
taste that as if it's not yet cooked well. So we still give it some more time. You can as well cover it or add your heat up so that it cooks. Okay. So you cover it for five minutes, guys. Five minutes. Because if you leave it for so long, it's going to get burnt. Okay? It's going to burn. But I don't mind the burnt one, by the way. I prefer that because I know that it has cooked well. So, we're almost there, guys. Almost there. Guys. Here is our meal. How does it look? Does it look so good? So delicious. And we akaka ugali ketu. This is our ugali. We are finally done. And as usual, guys, ni time yangu ya kutest. Cha kwanza nianze na matumbo. Nianze na matumbo. Hmm. So guys, this matumbo is so delicious. And also, as you can see, our ugali imeiva vizuri. It's tough. And you know, there's a funny, uh, there's, a, there's a funny saying that if your ugali is not well cooked, you take a small amount or a piece, you throw it on the wall. When it gets stuck on the wall, it means that your ugali is not cooked. But when it falls down or comes back like a tennis <laughs> when it comes back like that it means that your girl is done is well done so for those that say that they don't know how to cook ugali this is the thing so when your girl is stuck what does it mean it means that it's not well cooked a well cooked ugali is supposed to be firm okay guys I hope you've learned something today and I want to thank you for each and every person once again. Each and every person that has subscribed to our channel, the ones that are watching, the ones that are have subscribed, the ones that are liking our videos, we want to thank you so much. And guys, continue subscribing. Send it to more people, send our videos to more people so that they may subscribe to our channel and also comment and like. And then, as I always tell you guys, ensure that you let us know what you would want us to prepare. Request, request us to make for you something. Maybe you know, we'll do it for you. And if we can't, we might call up some people or professional chefs to come and teach us. Okay, guys. Now, we have a guest. Some people are suggesting we continue with our guests, but that we're going to do it in 2022 in January. Because this period, we are just doing vlogmas. So guys, let me end the video here and let me enjoy my food. Bye guys.